Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going into Skincare 101 Part 2. But before I start, I will ask you to hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment below if you like this information and you like my content, please support. And I will ask you to do this in the beginning today. If you think someone you know will benefit from this, please share this with them because sharing is caring. So back to our regularly, back to our regular programming. So in our last episode, we went over the ABCs of starting any kind of skincare regimen and what that looks like is hygiene, 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 hygiene. So we went over what you need, towels, washing your hands, tying your hair up, having proper cleanser, making sure that you are very sanitary with your hands, with your hair, with your face, with your products. Now that we have that down, I want to talk about more hygiene. So a lot of us know about these new trends. They're not really new, but they've become more popular because of Instagram and TikToks and people are talking more about this, but these tools have been used for centuries by so many people in different cultures. It has just become very new in America, but I want to talk about this. And the reason why is because this goes into the hygiene part. So a lot of us know what these are, what this is, gua sha. These, these fun tools, jade roller, suction for the face. So I wanna talk about these as well because this is part of hygiene. These and makeup brushes, so and makeup sponges and like I said, towels. So now that we have our hygiene down, we also wanna make sure that we are cleaning our tools like our gua sha stones, our jade rollers, our suction cups. Um, anything really that you're putting on your face and usually you are doing these things either after you're cleansing your face I hope so or during your night routine after you've cleansed your face so you also want to make sure that after you've gone through the hard trouble of making sure that everything is so clean and sanitary that you are actually now not going to put more bacteria back on your face because that is the worst a lot of people break out when they're doing these things that a lot of the times it's not because they've stimulated something that could be also that there was something that was underlying and that they've stimulated that acne to come out of your surface or they've irritated it but many times it's actually the tool has bacteria on it because people leave it laying around or they put it in a fridge where it actually helps the bacteria stay on there so you want to make sure that these things are being cleansed as well another thing that I will talk about in and this video is the makeup brushes. Now, we have beauty blenders, we have makeup brushes, we have the silicone um, gel pads that people are using to apply makeup or primer or even moisturizers. There's so many tools that you can use to actually apply your lotions and serums that people are forgetting to clean them. The reason why these tools exist is so that you don't put bacteria back in the product. However, if you are not cleaning the tool, you are still putting bacteria in the product and not just in the product, but on your face. So we have gone through the ABCs of hygiene in terms of what to do with our face, but the proper ABCs of hygiene for our tools is, first of all, clean them before and after use, then have a deep cleanse every week, meaning like with actual physical soap and sanitary sanitary things like alcohol and there's special soaps that you can use as well that keep everything really clean there's professional grade ones if you're a professional you already know this but if you're not you can do some research I can link some things below if you'd like we'll comment that and I will put that in the, in the links if not I won't and what else can I tell you I'm trying to make these videos short and sweet I want to just make sure that we have before I go into serums and toxins Wait, before I go into serums and tonics and ampules and just all the lotions and eye creams and before I go into serums, before I go into toners, before I go into ampules and essences and lotions and moisturizers and night masks and eye creams, I want to make sure that I have really stressed 
hygiene. Hygiene is important, not just for what we use to clean our face normally day and night, but also the tools that we use. So we wanna make sure that everything is super clean because only when you do these things, you are already 50% closer to having the skin of your dreams. Can you imagine that just by these simple steps? Anyways, guys, if you found this helpful, if you know someone who owns these tools, I will keep adding more and more and more. If you know anyone who owns these tools and is not cleaning them before and after use and not doing a deep cleanse, please share with them this video because it is super important. I feel like no one is talking about cleaning your tools as often and the reason why is so important. Whoops, sorry. And also FYI, if you're keeping this in your bathroom counter near your toilet, I can almost guarantee you that there is bacteria from your toilet bowl landing on this guy. And then you are gliding away to a facelift. So I leave you with that. If you like this content, if you like what I'm saying, please hit the subscribe button. I will see you next time. Bye.